Hi, I'm Jason, the engineering manager here at eSwitch, and today we're going to talk about converting AC to DC voltage. When designing an application and considering which switch can be used to meet or exceed the maximum load requirements, you might be wondering about the listed voltage and electrical ratings for both alternating and direct current. Or maybe you find yourself just needing to convert AC to DC voltage. When it comes to switches, which are used to make and break electrical connections in a circuit, the current carrying capacity between AC and DC circuits always differs, and you'll see that represented in the switch's AC and DC ratings. Here's an example of eSwitch's RB3 series rocker switch with the corresponding section from its data sheet. Before tackling how to convert AC to DC, let's cover the basics. First, what is DC or direct current? Direct current means you have a constant current flow. All batteries utilize direct current. When hooked up to a circuit, it's giving you a constant voltage at the source location, so the current is also constant. Then what is AC, or alternating current? This is when the current moves back and forth. All wall sockets utilize alternating current. In the United States, this back and forth action in a wall outlet happens 60 times a second. In summary, AC varies in magnitude and direction, while DC maintains a steady flow. It follows that you'll first need to determine whether your switch is being used in an AC or DC circuit. When AC circuits are broken, the arc is quickly extinguished. However, when a DC circuit is broken, the arc is drawn much longer before it's extinguished. This can lead to overheating and premature switch failure. Another key factor is determining if you're switching a resistive or inductive load. Current rises instantly when a resistive load is turned on and reaches its steady state value without rising any higher. An inductive load, on the other hand, pulls a large amount of current when turned on before reaching a steady state value. This can cause excessive voltage to appear, so you'll need to ensure that the switch's ratings meet or exceed the circuit's requirements. Most switches and electronics are fine for use in AC or DC, as long as you stay at or under the specifications, since they quickly snap away. But you'll run into problems with higher voltages. For example, switches meant for household wiring won't be a good fit for high current DC switching applications like a car or solar house battery. Now let's look at how to convert AC to DC voltage. Keep in mind that the first two methods we go over will never provide a precise answer for your conversion, but they will give you a, good, a general idea. The first method of converting AC to DC voltage is with a mathematical formula. A switch's DC voltage rating is always lower than the AC voltage rating at the same current. For example, a switch rated for 20 amps at 125 VAC or 10 amps at 250 VAC would typically have a current rating of less than 1 amp at 125 VDC. If you're trying to find out the DC voltage of an AC power supply, then use the formula VAC divided by the square root of 2. So essentially divide the AC voltage by the square root of 2 to find the DC voltage. For example, if the AC power source is 120 volts, then your formula would be 120 divided by the square root of 2, which would yield approximately 84 volts DC. Another example would be an incandescent bulb with a 141 VAC, which would yield roughly 100 VDC. This equation also allows us to work backwards from knowing the DC requirement to calculating the necessary AC. Keep in mind that the actual DC output will be less than the final calculation. The DC voltage you calculated is simply the theoretical voltage. Currents have a voltage drop when they're connected to a vice device so it won't have the full amount you've calculated for. Only hypothetical conversions maintain 100% efficiency. The second method of converting AC to DC voltage is with the following factors in this chart. For example, if you have a switch rated for 6 amp at 125 volt AC and you want to use it at a 48 volt DC, you would multiply it by 0.33 yielding, whoops, sorry, 2 amps for your 48 volt DC circuit. Again, this is a mathematical re-rating and not tested data. The switch should be tested in the application in which it's intended to be used. If you're interested in learning more, head to eSwitch.com for more information and be sure to like, subscribe, and follow us on LinkedIn to stay connected.